we are a dairy beef and sheep farm. Um, and when I say dairy, we're, we're quite small now. We've got 90 cows or 95. Uh, we're quite small by the scale of things, round about here, round about here. Our neighbours are going into three, four, five hundred thousand cow herds now. We went organic ten years ago, so we now use the Swedish Red and the Escher and the and the, the Frisian as a as a three-way cross. Um, we get about seven and a half thousand litres um, from the dairy cows, and we're feeding about two tons of concentrates. Uh, we, we house them from really November through to end of April, um, so it's a, you know it's a good six-month winter. Uh, we're, we don't really get a lot of Gulf Stream effect here. It's, uh, you go further west in Scotland and onto the um, uh, near Stranraan, you get much more, you know, much softer uh, climate over there. You can get another month of grazing over that side, but we we a bit colder. Um, beef, the beef side, we're winding down. Uh, we, we keep all the all the calves, so we keep all the beef calves and the heifers, everything from the dairy, and we finish everything on the farm. Um, and anything that's not dairy or replacement um, is uh, is Angus. Um, we've got a little problem with Angus. Angus is small, the confirmation is not great, and out of inertia they're a bit wee. Uh, so we tend to get penalties on confirmation and and uh, and weight. But they're easy. They don't take a lot out of the cow, and um, they finish quite easily. So we're. we're that's that's a compromise. So that's what we do. So 850 acres, 150 is in woodland, um, and uh, that leaves about 700 acres. All of that is a lot of scrub and rock and and bog and things like that, um, which leaves us about uh, 500 acres of usable ground, if you like. Uh, anyway, so I've got better conformation calves. They're faster growing. They, they finish quicker. Well, almost double the, the amount of beef that we sell. The value of the beef we sell off the farm, and we lose. 15% of milk sales. <clears throat> I've cut my cake. I've cut my cake. My 300 pound a ton cake. I've only, I'm only buying one ton per cow. Okay, over 150 cow, 140 cows. It's, um, it's, it's, it still comes to a lot of money. Um, and once a day milking. Right. The, the parallel is just a 12-12 herringbone. This is all. Uh, it was that cost building. It was put up uh, 50 years ago. And we moved the dairy into it in the 19, late 1970s. Um, it's a new build. We can spend a couple of years building the thing, um, and we don't. There's no worries. We can just work away in here, and then um, we'll have the new unit up and running in two years' time. And we'll be moving in in uh, October 2012. And we're breeding the new breed. We've got a new breed. We're breeding. The first of the calves are actually down there in the hollow. Uh, what we're doing is we're going for a more dual purpose type of animal which, uh, and we're using a Montbelliard mm -hmm. and, and the Montbelliard uh, we were very impressed We've, there's a couple of guys locally putting them onto Holsteins and it uh, transforms them turns them into a, well uh, turns them into a ca back into a cow from a coat yeah. ha hanger <laughs> we're going down this dual purpose dual purpose animal and we're going to, instead of just being dairy, producing milk, um, we're going to be a, a dairy, a milk and beef. What we're, what we're talking about is um, we're leaving the calves on. Well, we don't, we don't know how far this will go, but we're, 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 our plan at the moment is we're going to leave the calves on until the cow is ready to calve again. We're going to, we're going to dry, we're not going to dry the cow off. We're going to leave the calf with the cow, but we're going to stop milking her. Uh, after about eight months. With this system, everything will be off the place at, within two years. No problem, no problem. We, when we do it with the suckler cows, uh, within two years they'll be off the place. So we've got all that space suddenly comes available that uh, we had uh, two and a half year old cattle. The heifers come in at three year old. I mean, well, that's because we just take them along. So they'll come in at two years old. And all that stock that we've got in the farm won't be there anymore. I can increase my cows from 90 to 140 cows without actually increasing my stock because I'm finishing everything quicker. So we've got more cows producing less milk. Okay, we're, we're, we're feeding them once a day. We're feeding them a ton of cake instead of two tons. Um, I've got the figures here, so I know it's right. <laughs> All we have to do is prove it. But, it, it, but it's, it's, to, it's totally counterintuitive. You think, that's crazy, that there's no way it's going to work. 
well, we, we might as well be back to where what we're doing just now. No, we either do it, we either go all the way. See, see, there's a there's a marketing thing here as well, you know. The marketing thing is that. The uh, image. Oh yeah, that's right. It's it's uh, oh this is lovely. This is cozy, cuddly, but it's it's got to, it's got to make money too. It's got to it's got to work commercially, and we've run the figures through with organic, uh, getting organic premium, uh, and we've also run it through non-organic, and it actually works just as, just as well either way. Because the cake, it's the cake that's a killer for organic. It's really it's just a cri Craig. crippling. Us. I'm looking for eight lactations. What about older? We're, we're almost six here. We're almost six with these, and these are three year old when they come in. They're nine year old. These average age of these cows is nine. Well, they're over there. But anyway, nine year old. I'm looking for ten years because they'll be bringing it, coming them in, bringing them in at two year old. I mean, we're, we're not. We're, this is not. Uh, this is a business proposition. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, airy fairy stuff. Uh, you know. Uh, we, 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 you know, we're running a business, we've got people to pay, so it's got to work. You know. But it's quite interesting, I don't know about digesters, because um, it turns slurry, which is a pretty nasty product, into something that's actually quite useful. It's actually a, a much better fertiliser. Plus, we, we, we get a lot of toppings from the grass, because we, we don't graze too sore, uh, and we get about 200 tonnes of toppings, so we, um, instead of forcing the, our heifers and um, young stock to eat that, we will stick that, that goes in because uh, silage is actually um, a very useful feedstock. Slurry is not great, but it's a good carrier apparently. Um, but you improve the slurry, putting it through an anaerobic digester, we don't get a lot of electricity, but if you can add something to it, and a lot of the continentals put in maize or whatever, but we are just putting in toppings and, and waste silage and stuff, that, uh, bits and pieces, a bit of uh, dung and anything, anything that's this. And also the washings from the Cream of Galloway, the ice cream washings, they'll all come down, they'll come in. We're never going to compete with the thousand cow guys. You know, the thousand guy guys, I can't, I can't, we'll never compete with them. We don't have the land quality, we don't have anything. We don't have the scale. We're never going to do that. Uh, so we thought, well, we're going to have to do something pretty crazy. Um, Give it a wag. What? Give it a go. Give it a go. <laughs> something crazy. But they, we, well, we're going to go where they can't go. That's, that's what we're, the plan is. And